not too many problem areas Anil in that series in the West Indies but one I think everyone is now uh, wondering what that outcome will be which is KL Rahul four innings a couple of starts but uh, really had uh, not a very good series and now there are other contenders for that role as opening batsman do you believe enough has happened for Rahul to lose his spot as India opener now yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a tricky uh, situation that uh, KL is in, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, done well, uh, he's got, like you said, he's got starts but not converted them, he's got out, he struggled, he, he looked like, uh, I think in the last innings, uh, he looked like he was struggling uh, to, f uh, to get bat on ball, he was not his usual self, I think he's, he seems to be in a bit of a uh, uh, a mindset where he's not really sure whether to attack, whether to defend. Uh, he's unsure. You can see it in his footwork. Uh, so I think I think uh, you know that's 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 the problem. I think it's all in the mind. Yes, there's a there could be some technical issues, but then uh, you know if the mind is not clear, uh, if the thought process is not clear, then that doesn't help. Then your technical issues get uh, exaggerated. So I think it's important that he has a clear mind, goes out. Uh, I don't know uh, the messaging that has come through. I, I think the support has been there for KL Rahul. So I think he needs to start scoring runs uh, in domestic cricket. Once he gets a couple of hundreds in domestic cricket uh, and then uh, gets into a test match scenario, he'll be a lot more confident. So I think it's a confidence issue that, uh, that is there with KL Rahul. Yes, uh, uh, you know, that's a position that probably uh, there will be a lot of discussion before the next test match uh, that India plays in. But... You know, having said that, if you have uh, uh, won a test series and then you want to go in, unless there is a, a replacement, uh, you know, Prithvi Shaw is uh, injured. So, he's coming back from, uh, from that injury as well. So, unless there's a ready replacement... Uh, I'm not really sure whether India will be looking at somebody else. Yes, there are a couple of guys on the domestic circuit who are making a case. But uh, there's been a left field suggestion doing the rounds, Anil. And I wondered what your thoughts on, there, on that was. In a way similar to how Virendra Sehwag was asked to open the batting for India. And that worked, uh, so, uh, that worked so wonderfully well. There are some now who are starting to say that perhaps look at Rohit Sharma for that role. He does it very well in one-day cricket. He can't seem to break into that Indian middle order. So maybe look at him in that role. You only know when you, uh, you know, actually uh, do that. But I'm not really sure about uh, pushing Rohit at, at the top, uh, you know, unless it's a desperate situation. Yes, are we in a desperate situation where uh, uh, we are looking for an opener if there's someone who's done well at the domestic level, uh, is it worth considering that? Or uh, should Rohit, uh, you know, yes, he's a high-quality player sitting on the bench. Uh, should he be pushed at the top? I mean, th those things you need to uh, uh, start looking. Yes, he certainly has the experience. He certainly has the ability to, uh, uh, to bat anywhere in, a, in the batting lineup. Uh, opening the batting in test matches... Uh, you know, I think it's a bit different to opening in, in, in uh, one-day cricket. Uh, but having said that, you, you'll only know when uh, you, you push him.